We are the RC Sailors. We couldn't be more excited to be bringing you an awesome unboxing that you guys have requested extremely heavily. Not very specifically, but we wanted to bring to you a uh, an upper to mid-level price range quad. Yes, okay. we've gotten several several requests to do a more expensive quad, but yeah. not like crazy expensive. So, so the way we decided on this is because it's extremely popular online and we've seen it in retail stores, which means it's extremely popular. You guys are gonna be seeing it out and about when you're shopping. When you can walk into a retail store that sells TVs and you see this quadcopter sitting on the shelf, that says something about the hobby. Now we got ours on towerhobbies.com. This is the Zero Explorer drone. I got a post-it note on there for a few notes for me. And uh, all it says is the day it came. <laughs> yeah, I just use things to keep track of stuff. So this is the, uh, the Explorer uh, made by Zero. Uh, it's X I R O. Yes. And we got ours on TowerHobbies.com. Reason we how like much it is? Tower. When you're buying, uh, yeah, it's like 500 bucks. When, when you're buying something uh, this expensive, it's important to get good customer service. I think. Yes. So Tower Hobbies has because the RCs best. break, and sometimes you get them and they don't work. So you want to make sure you buy them from a company that will back up their products. And Tower Hobbies, they're will. awesome. They're just they're just amazing customer service, and it's just right. a good company. So let's, this is an unboxing. I am extremely excited. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this this has a GPS lock, it has return to home, auto takeoff, auto landing. Discover now, your sky, it says. The version that we got uh, does not have a camera. You can upgrade to have a camera later, and yes. we really hope to do that to show to you guys. Uh, but for now, let's see what comes in this box, um, the Explorer. I'm right. excited. Stop it, bye. It's a very nice box. I love when an unboxing experience feels good. You don't want to feel like it's a piece of junk right when you're opening it. And so far, I'm very impressed with the box. Limited warranty, technical support, and all that stuff. Okay, all right. Popeye, hey, buddy. Excited. Good boy. All right. So on top, I've got a little piece of black foam. Uh, this is just to help pad everything that comes inside. Uh, it looks like the props are not on this from the get-go, but that's fine. They just made the box smaller for shipping. I really like this. This is so cool. It's kind of in the shape of an X, not like sure a plus. Them. Yeah, it's really awesome in the box there. And each one of those parts of the X is a little box. Like, check this out. So this comes this out, power pack. and there's a power pack in there. Nice. I'll open this. Ooh, I think I need. A, I think I need a knife. Hold on. Whew, I'm excited for this. All right. In this little box, it feels like just air. So that's kind of interesting. They they could have. No, I'll bet if you got the one with the camera, they'd probably come in that little section. What does it say on it? Nothing. It's all labeled. That one does not. It's the only one without a label. Huh. Okay, this one says propellers, tools, and spare parts. I like that they so. labeled the boxes with stuff in it. I think you're right about that other one coming with the camera and stuff in it. Yeah. All right. Mind open. Now, I think it's kind of important. Like this, if you were to get this quad, uh, or this drone, in fact, I think it would be wise to possibly start without the camera, learn to fly it before you get the camera in case of a crash. But if you're if you're familiar with flying with the camera, then get it with the camera from the get-go because it's actually a little bit cheaper to get it with the camera at first. I did notice that. Okay, a little bag in here. Let's see. I've got it looks like spare parts, like it said on the box. What do you got going on? That looks like, oh, that's a nice little charging station. All right, here's the battery, okay. and this looks like... Oh, nice. Um, That's a sweet battery. Now, that is proprietary. I've not seen anything like this before. Yeah, this is Oh, nice. You push this button, and it tells you the level of... Uh, the charge is, charger is really interesting, Ooh, and it's nice that it has a long cable. It looks like this, and which is just a regular... Um, like a power, like to a PC or something, yeah. to a laptop. Circle, I'm guessing, goes into there. Then this is a regular US yeah. plug-in. It plugs into the... Uh, bar here and then plugs into your wall and there's actually a USB port on here So maybe you can get firmware uh, Updates for the charger. I'm not exactly sure why there's a USB port. This also has the light indicator on the bar That's pretty cool. I mean, I would like leave that on my desk and just plug in uh, USB like my phone to charge off of that or something. That's really cool. It is proprietary, but um, I that a lot. Let's see if it says the milliamps. Yeah, oh nice. This is actually a 5200 milliamp LiPo smart battery, 11.1 .1 volts. So, very cool. Uh, let's see what's in mine first really quick. 
I've got a little screwdriver in that bag. I'm gonna open everything. Yeah, go for it. Looks like some extra screws with Loctite. I'd leave that in the bag, please. Okay. I have um, rubber grommets for dampering the camera. Cool. This is a neck strap. You wanna open that and see how it looks? A little wrench in here. That's nice, it came with tools. That's everything in that little bag. And, ooh, spare props. Nice, it's like nice. reversible kind of ooh, green nice. and black. Wow, these are very nice, Abby. I like it. Oh my gosh, look at these props. So I got eight props. Nice. It came so, with spares and they feel like they've got some metal. For bigger props like that, that's nice that I had extras. Very cool. These are super nice looking. Now they're plastic, but they look extremely nice. Man, I like how that looks. This is gonna have some good lift. I'm just gonna leave that in here for now. Uh, let's see. This has a silver top on it. So there are some that are silver and some that are black, probably to help you with installation for uh, direction on those. All right, let's look at the, this really quickly and then we'll take a look at the quad. And then we'll put it out here. This is the manuals. Let's cut that open really fast. Or these are these are the manuals. It says manuals on the box. And then we'll pull the quad itself out, which I'm very excited about. I, I, I'm gonna fly this a lot, I know it. <laughs> so in here we have the manuals. Nice. And just another triangle box for, uh, just for packing. Keep that nice and tight. Cool. It's nice, it's all wrapped up nice. Presentation on this quad's really nice. Yes, it is. Presentation goes a long way, at least for me. Okay, nice. All right, um, initial impressions when I pull it out is there's this like triangle thing sticking off here. I think that is, that can be pulled off. Uh, it, it does, it tells you all kinds of, right on the bottom there's a bright green label and it tells you everything you need to do for flight preparation. We're not gonna do that in this video. Um, just wanna show you what comes in the box. These are nice brushless motors. Um, I like how they're. I like the way it black, looks. It's silver. not like boxy. I mean, it's it's an X, and a, I don't know. It looks really cool. I Very like it. Cool. It's a lot different than anything we've had. Yes. It looks like it has lights on the bottom. Landing gear, so that when you have a camera, Ooh, nice. you can That's set that awesome. down, uh, and then if you're not flying with the camera, I like that. Or possibly in the air, you can knock those up really quickly. Um, very, very cool. Man, I, I like the looks of this. And we've got lights uh, on the tips <laughs> of each one <laughs> of the arms there. Came. The box has Super cool. the art of a transmitter on it. I'm gonna set this guy back in the box. Cannot wait to get that in the air. Wow. Ooh, man, this is exciting. Nice, there's a power button on top of the quad. There's a USB um, plug-in. Firmware updates, probably, I would say. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna get this out of here. I'm very impressed. I by can this. tell this it has the, the transmitter has the little rubbery type feel that helps with your grip. Nice. Oh, that feels oh, nice. Oh, wow. You take this off, and I'm guessing. Oh, that's a really good looking these transmitter. That's uh, really it's, like sleek and simple looking. It has a handle down at the bottom of it. It's not that it, it doesn't actually matter for performance, but Abby and I are both very visual people and we love when things match. So look at that transmitter. I guess you can do it. You can set it up to do FPV too. That's amazing that that just tucks down into it, <laughs> isn't it? Cool. I don't know if that would fit like a plus phone though. I don't think it Sideways. would. Sideways, yeah. Would oh, it? Here. Oh, I see. Cool. Tilts. Yeah, That's very neat. nice. Oh, twist. Cool. Looks like it has one, two, and three with different levels. Maybe a return to home. It has a light bar, I think. I really <laughs> like that. Hold this, Nathan. It feels good. That is cool. Ooh. Look at the, it's a very low profile. This is not your classic box. This is not your grandma's transmitter. That's right. <laughs> it, it, it's not, it's not boxy. They're finally paying attention and making some nice ergonomically good feeling transmitters. Like that. that fits in your hands really this is exciting. well. exciting. Wow. We haven't had a quad in this price range and a, a, this quality in a long time. 
um, probably about two years. So we're really looking forward to getting it up in the air. I cannot wait to show you guys this in action. Uh, but seriously, I'm very, very impressed by the quality. Oh wow! Oh yeah! It vibrated when I turned it uh -uh. on. Yes, oh, and, and, and when when the uh, I guess when it goes out of range, when the battery's low, when there's a warning that you need to know. That's cool. So when it's going out of range or the battery's getting low, um, this will start to not. That way, you don't have to constantly monitor a screen. Oh, so it has. Oh, well, and I was gonna, is it related? It has a little battery bar. That's a battery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it has a GPS, and it's red right now because it's not connected. I don't know what the X stands for. And then that one, it's not lit up right now, but it's for Wi-Fi. So if you're doing um, FPV. Right. Yeah. Really, really cool. That's cool. Uh, I but, like that. But it's really nice that it has the vibration has notifications, awesome. um, so that while you're flying and looking at the quad, you don't have to worry about. Uh, staring at a screen which is dangerous when you're flying so that's extremely smart uh, I I've read a bit more on this I do know that if you lose your signal which hopefully never happens it will uh, return to home land itself the battery is getting too low it'll safely land itself and not just fall out of the sky there are a lot of safety features built into this quad and I cannot wait to get out and test them and show them with you guys but my initial impressions of this I'm excited are uh, much higher than I expected. I didn't realize the transmitter was so nice and that so many nice features were built into the quad. So this is the Zero Explorer. We got ours on TowerHobbies.com ah. for about $500. Check it out. Make sure you subscribe so you can see our first flight, or actually Nate's first flight. Whatever you guys are flying, remember to fly safely too. We want, in 2016, this is a big year for RC quads and drones, and we want to make sure that anybody in this hobby is really having fun but doing it as safely as possible yes make sure you check out AMA get insured right uh, thank you so much for watching guys uh, this is linked in the description box below check it out wow see you next video bye